The spread of unidentified illnesses was one of the most prominent effects of the U.S.-British occupation of Iraq during the past years. The village of Jarfa Mila, east of the city of Basra, witnessed the emergence of illnesses and various physical deformities as a result of occupation forces using internationally banned weapons. Poverty and the lack of services alone do not distinguish Jarfa Mila village affiliated with the Tanuma town east of Basra. However, this village has become known for its many strange deformities. It is rare to find a home that does not have a deformed child, a bereaved mother, or a senior citizen with an amputated limb. For this reason, the village is popularly known as the village of amputees. Deformities spread quickly after U.S. and British forces entered Iraq. The residents say that the missiles and containers that the occupation forces used are behind the spread of these unusual deformities. These American containers remain here. Below, right here, there was a shelter that housed women and children day and night, and the containers are on top of it. Not far from the containers, two babies were born deformed. The weapon remnants and containers used by the occupation forces remain scattered within the view of the residents of this village. The results are illness that the doctors cannot diagnose, including swellings and sudden blindness. I don't know what my illness is. I went to the doctor and he gave me tranquilizers, but these tranquilizers don't help me. Residents called on the government to intervene to remove the radioactive remnants and appeal to humanitarian organizations to take on their cause. This is all because of the Americans. I went to the field to pick crops, and then something suddenly exploded all over my legs, my hands, and my eyes. We have two kids. They were inside the house, and I told them to get up, and they could not move. The village is not the only victim of radioactive weapons, which the occupation forces left in Iraq. Poverty and the lack of services make it look as if it were a village of ghosts. Women, children, and the elderly continue to pay the cost of the U.S. and British occupation of Iraq and their use of internationally banned weapons. Despite all this, humanitarian organizations and the international community remain silent about the sufferings of these victims. From Jerfal Mila, east of Basra, Naim Abdul Razak, Al-Alam.